Welcome back everyone to Wake Up West, Texas Live Look Downtown San Angelo. We are calm and quiet. We're going to have lots of sunshine today. Starting off though, pretty chilly. It is 24 degrees right now in San Angelo, so we are below freezing. Much of the area below freezing this morning. Temperatures out there right now in the 20s. 21 in Brownwood, 23 Ballinger, 30 in Robert Lee, 27 right now in Sterling City. It's 29 degrees right now in Abilene. Winds out of the Southwest between about zero and five miles an hour. Calm winds compared to those gusty winds yesterday evening behind that weak cold front that moved through. We'll have a relatively calm day in terms of winds today. Southwest winds between five and 10 miles an hour. A little bit more windy north of Interstate 20, but most of us will be pretty calm. And then we continue with these calm winds through the overnight hours before winds pick up tomorrow afternoon out of the south between about 15 and 20 miles an hour, gusting once again to 25 miles an hour. Wind is really going to be the big story over the next several days as another storm system moves through, but we're going to stay dry. Crisp sunshine for your Tuesday, much lighter winds today. Winds pick up again on Wednesday. Temperatures stay mild, quiet conditions in West Texas. Most of the activity stays off to our east, and that's where we're going to track a threat of severe weather as we get towards Friday. Right now, satellite and radar, not much going on anywhere near us. So we head off to the Mid-Atlantic. Some snow showers moving through West Virginia. Virginia headed towards the Washington, D.C. area over the next few hours. So it's going to be a snowy day for them. We come back here to Texas. We are dry and quiet. Only some clouds moving through far south Texas, south of San Antonio, down through the Houston and Corpus Christi areas this morning. We're tracking dew points. We don't really track dew points and humidity really in January, but there's going to be a flow from the south over the next several days, bringing in that moisture that will set up a severe potential for the day on Friday. So dew points into the mid 60s. Dry line though sets up here in West Texas. Dry conditions out to our west, humid conditions out to our east, and that's where we see that threat of some strong to severe storms, mainly off to our east. And I think our it will stay off to the east. So satellite and radar shows where those showers and storms will form on Friday afternoon, mainly east of our area along the I-35 corridor. And that's where we do track the threat of severe weather, which includes all types of severe weather, including the threat of tornadoes. If you do have plans into eastern Texas on Friday, we turn sunny and remain dry through the upcoming weekend. Where is the severe threat? Well, mainly here in the yellow and red areas, likely in parts of the red, which includes Shreveport, just to the southeast of Dallas, down towards Austin as well. So if you do have plans out there, definitely check ahead and be sure to remain weather aware during the day on Friday. Back here in West Texas, the next 12 hours, lots of sunshine, no problems today, middle 60s, and we're looking pretty good. Tonight, 33 degrees, mostly clear skies, near freezing temperatures, south winds, five to 10 miles an hour, your next seven days. We stay dry and quiet. Wind is our only threat as we get towards the upcoming weekend. I think it will be a really windy day on Friday with that storm system that's pushing off into eastern Texas. Temperatures back into the 70s for Thursday and Friday. Cool it off slightly for the upcoming weekend before we warm up into the beginning of next week. Chance of a strong cold front towards the end though of next week. Facebook and Twitter always connect with us in Texas 325-400-8785 and download the Fox West Texas mobile app.